What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the equipment that I use to do CrossFit and weightlifting and all that jazz. I thought I'd share this with you guys if you guys want to look into getting some of these accessories for working out. These are not a necessity. You do not have to have them, but I just prefer to use these when working out. I do a lot of CrossFit workouts, so these are pretty beneficial for those workouts. So without further ado, let's get on with the video and I'm going to share with you guys some of my CrossFit equipment. All right, so we're we're going to start with a lifting belt. This is the lifting belt that I use. It is just a plain old black lifting belt, but it is a good one. It works really well and this one is from Bear Complex. It is just their simple one. They have other ones that have a bit more of a wider back. This one has the, you know, standard kind of basic back one. I think that that one actually fits perfect for me. Bear Complex has a lot of different like patterns and styles and things like that. So if you want something that's a little more fun, that is something I prefer. But when I first bought this belt, I thought that I would want something really basic and that's why I chose a plain black one. But in the end, you know, it's always fun to have pattern things. As you guys will see further on, I do like to have some fun patterns on my gear because I do wear a lot of like plain black clothes when I'm working out. So this is one that I have. They have a lot of fun patterns. Go check it out. I'll have it linked down below. I'll try and have everything linked down below. But yeah, this is just the weightlifting belt that I use. The next thing that I have is my grips. These are also from Bear Complex. These are probably the more popular brand of grips. That is pretty much what that company uses is their grips. That is like their main thing. And so these are the grips that I use. I use the three hole ones. I prefer more of a full coverage over my hand. Whereas my boyfriend David has a two hole one where I find it has less coverage, but this one just works really well for me. These are the carbon fiber ones and I just really like them. These are the grips that I use. They have been saving my hands since day one from completely being shredded. Like my hands rip too easily. Next, I have a pair of knee sleeves. This is just inside out because when you put on your knee sleeves, it goes from like inside out. So most of the time they're inside out, but this is what they look like on the outside. Like I said before, I kind of dig the fun patterns and this is a fun pattern. The floral pattern is kind of fun. These are from Gorilla Fitness and they're just a pair of basic knee sleeves. I'm not sure the width or the strength or whatever you want to call they are but I'll have them linked down below they have a ton of fun pair of knee sleeves if you guys want a fun pair go check them out and also if you're from Canada they're actually pretty affordable because it is a Canadian brand and you know like when you're trying to buy stuff from the US it can get a little pricey because their dollar is complete poop but this is a great company from Canada I love their stuff I love their patterns I think it's really nice and so I've been using these knee sleeves from Gorilla Fitness. The next thing that I have is also from Gorilla Fitness and it is my wrist wraps. These are the wrist wraps that I use like literally all the time. I have really bad wrists from cheerleading and these have been saving my butt since day one. And I really like them. There's a nice fun pattern again on these. I really like it. I wish my florals matched, but they don't. And that's okay. It's always fun to have different florals on you, I guess. But these are the ones that I've been using. I think that they work really well. They're also super affordable. Also, I keep saying I'm gonna wash these, and as you guys can see, your girl hasn't washed them, and it's good that you guys can't smell these because they smell. The next piece of equipment that I use is a skip rope. This is just a skip rope that I got from Amazon for like 15 bucks, super affordable, and this is like my first skip rope that I've ever bought. I think it works pretty well. I got my double unders with this. It is a wire-based skip rope, so it has a wire on the inside and then just like a plastic coating on the outside. I think that this one works pretty well. In all honesty, I might actually be updating my skip rope to the Rogue one. I wanted to invest in a nicer skip rope. My boyfriend David has the Rogue one and I've tried his a couple times and I prefer his just because the handle is a little more heavier and I find it has a bit of a more smooth movement with it, whereas this one's a lot lighter. It has a lighter handle. It does work, but I find that the Rogue one is just a little, you know, smoother but if you're looking for a really good skip rope that's inexpensive i really recommend this one like i said i got it from amazon it's called the outrigger one i'll see if i can find the link and link it down below but it's been working really well it works during my workouts it's like perfect like it, there's nothing wrong with it i just prefer a bit of a smoother feeling one whereas this one i guess isn't as smooth as the rogue one but in all honesty this is just of a good skip rope there are really fancy skip ropes out there and they don't need to be fancy and you don't have to have the fanciest one because this one was literally only 15 bucks and super affordable and it works really well. Next, a piece of equipment that I use that I bring with me pretty much everywhere, especially when I was traveling, I was using this quite often because I have a really bad back right now. 
your girl is injured, but I've been using this. It is just a softball. You can literally find this anywhere. I found this at Dick's Sporting Good for like a couple bucks. And you wanna find one that's a bit hard. This one gets into the like nice little muscles that you need to release. A foam roller is great and it spans over a really large area on your body, whereas this one kind of gets into like the nitty gritty muscles and it's kind of fun to release those muscles and also painful but nice, if that makes sense. If you guys are a crossfitter and you guys do a lot of releasing on the muscles and foam rolling, you guys know what I mean. But I literally picked this up at Dick's for a couple bucks. You can find this at any sporting store for literally only a couple bucks. But this I bring with me when I'm traveling, when I'm doing all that stuff, and also to the gym just to release my muscles when they need to be released. And it's also very portable to bring because it's just, you know, a little ball. I also wanted to share the shoes that I wear at the gym. This I consider a piece of equipment because I actually find it quite important the types of shoes that you wear while working out, especially when doing CrossFit. It really does affect a lot of the things that you do. So the first pair that I have is actually my weightlifting shoes, my powerlifting shoes, whatever you want to call them. It's these guys right here. They're like nice and purple shoes. You know, your girl likes fun colors sometimes. And so these are the Reebok CrossFit weightlifting shoes. These are the older shoes that they have. I got these quite a while ago. They have released other ones since and I just prefer these ones over the new release ones. I find the new release ones have too much of a high heel in them because if you guys don't know, there's a platform in there that gives you a bit of a higher heel. And I find the newer release ones that they have is a little too high for me. So I prefer these ones. These ones work well. If I do update, I might switch to another brand. I don't know. But these are the ones that have been working for me for a lot of my powerlifting moves and I just find them really comfortable. And for the shoes that I do CrossFit in, I have the Nike Metcons. These I believe are the Metcon 4s. These work really well for me. I prefer these over the Nanos. I don't find the Nanos as comfortable for my foot. I'm actually really picky for my feet. I find my feet are very temperamental and I think everyone's foot is temperamental and all our feet are different if that makes sense. But these ones work really well. I like them a lot. I find them actually really comfortable to do a lot of my CrossFit moves in. Once I switched over to the Metcons, I felt so much more comfortable in them and I just feel like my workouts have been better. Like I don't feel as much pain after my workouts because a lot of times when I would do double unders or box jumps, my shins would hurt, my shoes were just weren't working for my workouts. And when I switched over to these guys, I started feeling a lot more comfortable. I wasn't having as much pain after. So I really recommend if you guys are looking for a good pair of shoes, check out the Metcons. I think that they're really comfy. And on top of that, they come in like tons of different colors and styles and things like that. And there's like fun. And so, you know, your girl got another pair of light purple shoes here. So, you know, that's that's how I roll with my purple shoes. Anyways, that is the equipment that I use. I thought that this might be helpful for you guys if you guys are into CrossFit or weightlifting and you wanna add more equipment to your routine. That These are just some of the things that I use and that work well for me. And maybe this exposed you to new companies. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below. You guys know where it is. And yes, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Summer days burn me out, love just brings me down Go inside like winter leaves that slowly leave the ground Hey, you come back, I wanna give you a chance Love me like you used to, so we can learn again The skin is getting round, baby, drinking